Hey everyone, it's Nathan from InfoGamer. I want to make this a super quick video so I'm not recording my picture. I'll probably end up doing more of these videos if I have smaller principles that I need to teach, and I'll save showing my face for the more formal tutorials. So this video is more about a problem that I was running into while working with the Photon plugin on my Snake Cube game. And this could be a problem that you might run into at some point in your career. So first off, I'll explain and demonstrate the problem. So here I have my Snake Cube game open inside of Unity, and this problem first appeared as I was making changes to my game last week. Originally I had it so that when you click the battle button, it would just wait for additional players. And once it found those additional players, then it would load all of you in to the multiplayer scene at the same time. But of course this isn't a very good system, because if you don't have a lot of people playing your game, then a person could end up waiting for hours while trying to search for additional players. And so I wanted to change my game and allow players to play a solo game while waiting for other players. And then as soon as it finds the other players, it would then load the players into a multiplayer scene. Now, now I was able to make these changes to my game, but then for some reason I started receiving this problem, which I will now explain. So the problem that I was running into is that when the players load into the multiplayer scene, some of the player objects that are supposed to be there don't exist. And here you can see that it's loaded me into a solo play and it's searching for additional players. Now I can bring up my phone and I'm going to click battle and my phone has loaded into a solo play and it has connected to the same room as my editor. Now it's loaded into the multiplayer scene but there's something that's not right. In my phone you can see that we have only one red cube and it's not creating any of the tail segments but there's only one player there's not two players and then in the editor we only have one player as well now if i expand the hierarchy you can see that we have two photon network player objects one here and one here and we have one photon head prefab and then a bunch of body segments there should be a second photon head prefab, and there should be about double the body segments. Now I'm going to demonstrate everything again, but I'm going to first hit battle on my phone, and then I'm going to hit play in the editor, and click battle in the editor. So now we've connected up, and as soon as we load into the multiplayer scene, we'll be able to look at the hierarchy. So here you can see that we don't have any photon network player objects and we only have one photon head prefab and we have then a bunch of body segments and we have way more body segments than we should. And we're also receiving a bunch of null reference errors. So I did some research on this problem and I found out that what's happening is that the photon network player object is actually being instantiated across the network before we load into the multiplayer scene. And because it's being instantiated before we load the scene, it's then being destroyed as we load the scene. Now remember that the matchmaking system I'm using for my Snake Cube game is a delayed start system, which essentially means that all of the players are connected to the room before we load them into the multiplayer scene and all of the players are loaded into the scene round about the same time. So if we go to our room network script, here I have this RPC create player function, which is where I'm instantiating my photon network player object across the network. This function is being called on all the clients by the master client in this RPC loaded game scene function. This function is being sent from the local player to the master client, which is being called right here. And this function is being called in our on scene finish loading function, which is called when we load into the multiplayer scene. Now all of this should be working, and it was working before I tried making changes to my game. But what's essentially happening is that the master client is being loaded into the multiplayer scene before any of the other players. He is then instantiating his player objects across the network. And because he's instantiating them before the other people have loaded into the multiplayer scene, those objects are then being instantiated in the main menu scene. And then as soon as those players do load into the multiplayer scene, they end up destroying those objects. So now that we know what the problem is, we can come up with a solution. 
and one of the quickest ways that we can fix this problem is to add a timer on when we instantiate the Photon Network player object. Because I'm using a delayed start for my game, I know that all the players are loading into the multiplayer scene round about the same time, plus or minus the time it takes for that message to be sent across the network. I also already have a 5 second countdown from when the players load into the multiplayer scene to when they gain control of their snakes. Because of this, it allows me to have maybe a 3 second timer in which I can wait before I instantiate the Photon Network player objects. So let me now show you this code. I'm first going to comment out this debug statement. I'm going to comment out our RPC loaded game scene function. I'm then going to uncomment the start coroutine where I'm calling this wait to spawn function. I am then also setting game loaded equal to true after I start the coroutine. This will make it so that I only start this coroutine once per player. So now let's look at this wait to spawn function, which is right here. This function is an iEnumerator, or in other words, a coroutine. And here you can see I have my timer where I yield return new and I wait for three seconds. After three seconds, I am then instantiating our photon network player object across the network. Another important difference is that rather than sending an RPC function from the local player to the master client, and then from the master client to all the other players in order to instantiate this photon network player object, we are just instantiating this object from the local client immediately. So there's probably a number of ways that we could go about fixing this problem. This is just the simplest and easiest way. If you're doing a non-delayed start game where players can join and leave your game at any time, then this shouldn't be a problem for you. Let's go ahead and save the script and we'll go back to Unity and build it for our phone so that we can test it again. Alright, so I have my game playing and I'm first going to click Battle in the editor and then I'm going to click Battle on my phone. And so we've connected up and within a few seconds we'll load into the multiplayer scene. Once we load into the multiplayer scene you can see that there's no snakes but within three seconds the snakes start spawning into the scene. And then at five seconds we start playing the game and I have control of my snake. And so now it looks like everything is working just fine and that I've fixed my problem. And so remember, if you're ever running into a problem where you're doing a delayed start and some of the player objects aren't being instantiated into your multiplayer scene, they might be instantiating into your main menu scene and then getting destroyed as you load into the multiplayer scene. If this is the case, then you might want to consider putting a timer on your game to allow there to be a space between when you load into the multiplayer scene and when you start spawning or instantiating objects, player objects in the scene. Now I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.